All right, we're here on the hill with Hillcrest quarterback Matt Futrell. Matt, you doing all right today? Yeah, doing, doing good. Doing good. Yeah? All right. Uh, you know, glad to be kind of back home on the hill playing yeah. games after some wild trips. Yeah, those were some pretty crazy games, but finally got to come back home. First game of senior year. That was awesome. Sure. Uh, talk about going down and playing in Razorback Stadium. Was that wild or what? Yeah, it was crazy, you know, just going on the field and seeing that hog logo right there just on the middle of the field. Just seeing the SEC emblem on the field. I mean, it was just crazy to think you're on the same field as so many great football players. Today. It sure did it take a minute to uh, get composure once you got out there with the business oh, as usual. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, we, we had a slow first half. I mean, I had a slow first half. I mean, we did, things didn't really go like we wanted, but I mean, that sec second half we picked it up and showed what we could do. Sure. Came in as a starter last year after, you know, Hillcrest with uh, Mitch Jenkins, a yeah. uh, great quarterback for a while here. Um, was there, did you feel a lot of pressure coming in, and how have you improved? Since uh, then? Definitely, my junior year, I felt a lot of pressure uh, to meet up to, you know, whatever he did last year. And, uh, but I think this year, you know, I just have a lot more confidence. Uh, I think really that just makes all the difference, mm -hmm. confidence, and knowing you can do something. Sure. Uh, just help. Help. Uh, sure. On the field, how have you improved? Uh, obviously, after the bomb last week, well, 55 yards in the air or something, uh, yeah. the arm strength is there. How, how have you improved? Yeah, well, I mean, just being able to read defenses and, you know, I mean, it all, the game at first, you know, seemed a lot faster, but, I mean, just as you get used to it, the game kind of slows down a little bit and you can start reading coverages. And I mean, just my arm strength improved, and I mean, just the whole team's just doing great right now. Sure. Obviously, a lot of buzz around Doriel. What's it like being his quarterback? Ah, uh, it's great. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't rather throw to anyone else in the country. I mean, he's ranked number one for a reason. I mean, he can just get behind those safeties, go up, make plays, make people miss, break tackles, you name it, he can do it. Yeah. He's not the only weapon you guys have. Oh, no, no. Uh, I mean, he's definitely a big factor, but, I mean, we got Jonah, we got Juan, we got Levi, I mean, our old mine is stepping up this year. I mean, we got a ton of great players on defense. I mean, I'm looking forward to playing every game. Sure. Uh, but speaking of throwing to him, uh, I mean, you guys breaking records and continuing to add numbers to records, and you're a big part of that. What's that mean to you? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I've never really thought of that. So that's, that's pretty cool, mm -hmm. but knowing that I can say I somewhat helped him get there, you know, but, I mean, he could, he could just break records, you know. Sure. All right. Um, tomorrow night, you guys got Glendo coming yeah. here to your house. Two big offenses. Uh, could be a long game, right? Yeah, it could <laughs> be. I mean, I have faith in our defense. I mean... But, I mean, I know they have a pretty tough defense and a great offense, and it's going to be a big game for us. All right. Any expectations from tomorrow or just uh, going to go out and battle? Just go out and play as hard as you can play. All right. Well, Matt, appreciate it. Thanks so much for your time.